I've recently applied for two new credit cards. Why did I do it? What to do after the application? What will you receive from the application? Anything else you need to know post sign up or just post receiving your credit card? We'll find out today. <laughs> Hello, Killer B here. Today we are going to share my cards, the six different cards that I have, three credit cards and three non-credit cards. So I'm going to share briefly on these six different cards. In the next upload, we'll explain more on each individual card, but today we are just sharing briefly. So we'll get on to another frame right now. Oh wait, we are not moving to another frame first, because remember the joke of the day? Today's joke of the day was a policeman was sent to jail for taking a photo. Do you know why? Because he was framed. Frame, get it? Alright, now we'll really really move on to the other frame right now. Oh wait, I'm not gonna show you anything if you do not turn that grey thumbs up button blue right now. Yes, 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 thank you, thank you. No, 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 kidding, kidding, I can't do that. Um, I, I'm not so smart to do my video that way. But seriously, helping to like this video and sharing it with your friends would help this channel out a lot. With that out of the way, we will move on to the other frame. Right now. Alrighty, so presented here are all of my cards. Um, not Pokemon cards, my cards. And presented here is a card. It's a YouTube card which you can click to watch all our different different credit card videos. But for now, right here we have Citibank cashback credit card, Maybank family and friends, CIMB Platinum Mastercard. So these three are credit cards. Then for non-credit cards, we would have OCBC. Uh, this is a layman. This is just an ATM card. Then OCBC, yes, debit card. This is uh, also a debit card. ATM card, debit card. So the debit card is linked to another account. This is linked to my original OCBC account. This is linked to the savings account, which has a higher interest rate. And then the grab pay card, which is not a debit card, it's not a credit card. So it's in the middle of nowhere. But it's more like it functions more like a debit card with some rewards, not a lot now. After you watch the grab rewards update. This is Nana, -na. but this tray, good. This currently is my favorite. In place of the Citibank cashback credit card, CIMB card, I will use two months in a year. This one, I will try to charge up to 800. This one, I will charge everything because this would need $800 to get $80 off. So I've covered all of my particulars, but you, as you can see, the grab pay card is the most secured because it's a numberless. So no need for any additional taping except for behind. It's supposed to be my name. Alright, back to the chair. So recently, I've applied for the Maybank Family and Friends card and the CIMB. Before that, I had only been using a credit card, the Citibank cashback credit card for about a year actually. 12, uh, I paid for 12 of the billing cycle before today. There are many things I learned over the course of the 12 months and there's also many many more things that I learned recently as I'm applying for these two new credit cards, the Maybank Family and Friends card and the CIMB Platinum Mastercard. I want to clear the air that I'm not in debt. The reason I'm applying for a credit card is for the rewards and also credit score. That should also be the same for every one of you who is watching. Do not apply for a credit card just because you're short on cash. Actually, don't apply for a credit card if you're short on cash because it would be your worst enemy. Because credit cards can charge exuberant, almost extortionary amounts of interest which are legal but the highest legal interest rates. I mean, that's one of the ways that they earn their buku bucks. How do you think they manage to have all those fancy fancy branches when you go in, the lights are so bright, everything is so polished, clean tables, clean floors and the amount of stuffing they have in every single branch are amazing. So they provide very good customer service. All this comes at a cost and the cost is from your credit card debt and also many other things but one of the ways that they earn money is from your credit card debt, your interest, your fees 
your annual fees even and also that's how they are able to come up with the rewards to pay customers who are able to spend with discipline correctly and responsibly so rewards for spending with discipline is what I talk about in this channel currently in this credit card series basically because with a credit card you get rewarded for charging your spending to a credit card without a credit card you do not get any rewards because with a credit card you get rewarded for not increasing your spending but charging every single spending into your credit card you get rewarded so it's free reward free money free presents just for charging spendings you would have spent anyways into your credit card and paying them off in full at the end of every single month so that you do not pay any interest it is as good as stealing money you don't put any additional stuff but get paid or have your expenses subsidized it's so good i basically explained how i managed to get 800 dollars in reward from the citibank cashback credit card the first credit card that i have over the course of 12 months i will link it here paid no late interest fee, I paid no late fees, paid no annual fees, 800 bucks of pure profit in the pocket. Now the Citibank cashback credit card has only one year of annual fee waiver so currently I've just received this year's annual fee charge that had came in so I'll be calling them to ask for an annual fee waiver. It's my first time asking for it. I'll update in the next video how it goes. So all these are the summary of why I think you should apply for a credit card or maybe you should not apply for a credit card should or should not this is the summary of why you should or should not apply for a credit card and then different credit cards have different sorts of rewards and for my case i like cashback ones so all my credit cards all three of them are cashback related one and all of them have certain categories which is the reason why i have three different credit cards so now what to expect post application after you apply for a credit card what do you expect now it would usually take two to three working days uh, for singapore at least two to three working days because we are just one city for the banks to send you your physical card in your letterbox so what are inside the letters we'll show here in a while mm. now the Citibank cashback credit card i have applied for 12 months ago i've totally forgotten what was in the letter can't remember if there's brochures or not any other documents or not but here's the two recent credit cards application and the different letters that i got from them all together i got three different timings of the letter mailed to me we'll show it on the other frame again right now welcome back to the frame again so first up we have maybank family and friends so this brochure comes in the envelope that was sent this is the first one that was sent to you or would be sent to you once you receive it, open it up, this is inside and when you open up this brochure cover there's many many documents inside for the Maybank one there's uh, 7 different items 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 with the cover it's actually 8 items even the cover has uh, some information which are not very useful but a very pretty cover and the first Maybank family and friends brochure it tells you about the privilege, the reward, the cash rebates, categories and then how you can earn your rewards it's like a family and friends credit card 101 for first time users so it says how to use the app and then behind they want to upsell you more financial services if you want to loan money installment fund transfer cash advance blah 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 and what is flex c cash and other information that you might need interest free period blah 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 that's all for this brochure and then there's this convenient and rewarding so this is uh, actually an application for gyro payment of some items which you would be paying out subscription items like Starhub, M1, SPH. There's no Singtel and Circle Life, My Republic, all that. But yeah, basically that's it. There's only pretend show. There's no uh, AIA. Yep. So nothing much. And there's this Ooh, a world of a privilege. So this is actually a supplementary cut application form. In case you want a supplementary card for maybe your, your, your kids, your partner, your life partner, then you can use this to apply for one. Next up, we have e-statement. So it explains that they will be running on e-statement to save the earth, to keep the world green and clean or so they say. Yep. And this one is an important one because this one actually comes with the credit card. So the credit card it comes like that. 
So I took it out and then this thing I peel it off, put it here. Yep. So this is your credit card. So it tells you your uh, credit card stuff, details on your credit card. And that's about it. And then this one, this is actually a Mi Bank's personal credit card information. Uh, so it's actually uh, especially useful, I think, for new users. So it's all the terms and conditions, every fine print you would need to know about the credit card. I took some time to read through. So you can also read through uh, next time if you apply for one. So it, uh, it just tells you what you sign up for. And then this one, this is by the Association of Banks of Singapore. Money sense, money matters make simple. So it's actually by this association of banks in Singapore who teaches about what credit card is. You know, in case you are new to a credit card, sign up and you do not know what a credit card actually is before you apply for one. That's all for the Maybank one. So six, oh no, seven or eight documents inside altogether. Very, very detailed. Very good, very good. Now we have the CIMB one. Comes like that. Just three documents. For me, <laughs> yeah, it didn't have any brochure cover. Not like the pretty, pretty Maybank one. So CMIB, bad, bad. But if you go and read online, actually CMIB is one of the smaller banks compared to the other overseas American banks, Douche Bank, Stanchart, or even the local banks. So uh, locally, regionally, the biggest three banks are our local big three, DBS, TOSB combined, and then OCBC and UOB. So our main bank is actually a fourth running one in terms of in terms of asset under management and then after them there's the CIMB so CIMB is the smallest bank of the lot so probably why CMIB could not afford as much into marketing so yep if we, uh, this is the letter with the credit card so same thing the credit card was here I took it out paste the sticker here uh, for fun I, I mean you don't have to do that it's details about your credit card and then they came with two other brochures this one so it's just tell you that uh, they are rewarding $20 cash credit for every successful referral. So if you are applying for a CIMP credit card, contact me and I'll give you my referral number code or stuff like that. And then now this last brochure, there's only three. This last brochure is actually CIMP Platinum MasterCard. Uh, also nothing much, just explains what is the card that you have applied for, how to earn cash back. Basically the benefits of the card is just a two page brochure so it's not as detailed as I would hope and then they don't have that credit card explanation. What is a credit card? What is this? This is my first credit card. They did not send me that. Alright, so that's all we have. Oh yeah, wait. So after you applied for the this and this, after these two came and then you sign up online, what you would get is this. Yeah, oh sorry. This is for the Maybank one. So they will give you a pin where you can use uh, for the Maybank ATM around Singapore. Uh, I believe you can use it in Malaysia as well. And then a few days later, they send this as well. So this is after you log on to the Maybank website. So they send you to say, oh, you log on, what does it entail, blah, blah, blah. For the CIMB one. So same thing, the pin, the secret, secret pin to use their ATM. But don't use the ATM because once you draw money, it's considered as a cash advance. So I believe there's interest charges immediately. So don't do that, don't do that. Now here, CIMB clicks internet. So this one is to notify me that I've logged on to the CIMB internet banking for the first time. Yep, basically it. Yep, now we'll move back there. Now we'll move back there. Alright, this video has been a little duration long. So for old time viewer, I'm sorry I would not be explaining on credit score today in this video. The next video we will talk about credit score again and maybe one two tips that I learned. So sorry. So sorry. So sorry. And so for new viewers, if you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe down below and follow us on this journey as we learn personal finance, investing, and currently the credit card series. It will still be ongoing for some time, this credit card series. I still have about 10 different video ideas for credit card series. So if you're bored, if you're bored, comment below as well so I know that I should switch the topic a little bit. 
every now and then. So about investing, currently the market is crazy. Yeah. With that correction and illness issues. Can't say much for this video because it's a credit card video, but I'm buying into the market. Once again, thank you for watching. See you guys next time.